You know, I've always kind of liked ballet dancing, but do they have to do it when I'm trying to sleep? Very good. <laughs> now, time for today's lesson, ladies. Welcome to ballet dancing for mice and other small rodents. Today, oh. we shall cover pirouettes, <laughs> place the feet slightly mm. apart, raise the arms, and leave it slowly. I live to dance. Yeah? Well, some of us live to eat, and eat to live. Where's Vito with my 11.30 a.m. pizza delivery? Did you ever have the feeling that you were being watched? Good. I have a clear view into the house where it looks like... <gasps> Ballet dancing mice? 11.30 a.m. I'm monitoring the Arbuckle home looking for a proper test subject for my new invention. Ah! The pizza delivery man! The perfect test subject! First, I need to seize control of his mind. <laughs> I must hurry. Mr. Arbuckle's cat does not like it when his 11.30 a.m. pizzas arrive ten seconds late. It's working! I've seized control of his mind. You hate delivering pizzas. You will no longer deliver pizzas. I will no longer deliver pizzas. Hey, it's 11.30 and 10 seconds. Where are my pizzas? No, no pizzas for you. No pizzas for anyone. <gasps> Words I hoped I'd never hear. I hate delivering pizzas. I hate making pizzas and delivering pizzas and everything about the pizzas. I will never make another pizza as long as I live. I will never make another pizza as no. long as I live. Ah! Vito, say it isn't so. Throw them on the ground. Stomp on them. Here, here is what I think of pizzas. Down with pizzas. No, no, no. <laughs> at last! At last I'm getting revenge on that cat for ruining my plans for world domination! Testing a mind control device, unqualified success. I press the blue button, capture someone's mind, then speak into the microphone to tell them what to do. Nathan! Uh, Nathan! Oh no, not now! Mom! I'm working on a plan to conquer and enslave mankind! That can wait, Nathan! First, you have to take out the garbage and do your chores. But, Mom! Don't you butt mom me, young man. Garbage first, enslaving mankind second. Oh, these kids today. Where are their priorities? Take the garbage out yourself, Mom! I will take the garbage out myself, Mom. <laughs> the effects will only last a few days before they wear off. All right, now, let's see if my invention will work on that dog that lives with the cat. Hmm. My invention has no effect on the dog named Odie. I'll try someone else. Wow, he'll do fine. Hmm, it's a little after 11.30. I'd better start making lasagnas for today. You don't like cats. You don't want any cats in your house, especially Garfield. I do not like cats. What could have caused Vito to do such a horrible thing? I can't think of anything worse that could happen. I do not like cats. <laughs> I do not want any cats in my house. Huh? Especially Garfield. <laughs> I thought of something worse. No! <laughs> <laughs> yes! John can't be serious. <laughs> John, what are you doing? Where are you throwing away all of my favorite foods? This is a whole box of crunchy poodle doodles. This is the perfect cereal. It's loud, it has no nutritional value whatsoever, and it turns milk purple. From now on, I only serve one food in this house. Raisins. Raisins? Raisin pie, raisin bread, raisin stew, meatloaf, but with raisins instead of the meat. No! 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 You can't be serious! No, no! You can't be serious! If you want cereal, you may have raisin bran, but without the bran. Which reminds me. 
This still can't be happening to me. <laughs> I can't. I still do not like cats. <sighs> oh, this day is not going well at all. Why does John suddenly not like me? I'm lovable, or as lovable as I ever was. Garfield Cat. Uh -oh. I hate Garfield oh. Cat. Are you Garfield Cat? <laughs> Too bad. I hate Garfield Cat. Garfield oh. Cat, I hate you. I don't know why I, 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 I just do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Booty, do you hate me? <gasps> do you like me? <laughs> Great. I don't know what got into John. Vito not making pizzas. That's like Vito not making pizzas. Hmm. The mailman. With my luck today, he's probably returning Nermal from Abu Dhabi. Postage due. <laughs> oh, what a joy it is each day to deliver the mail. Okay. Here's what I want you to say. I hate delivering the mail. I'm going to move to Spain and become a beautiful senorita. <laughs> I hate delivering the mail. I'm going to move to Spain and become a beautiful senorita. <laughs> I can make anyone do whatever I want. Mom, take out more garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, did you see? He started acting odd after he was hit by some sort of ray from across the street. That's the house where that bratty mad scientist, Nathan! Come on! I must take out the garbage as ordered. <laughs> Take orders from me, the most powerful man alive! But first I have to go to the little boy's room. <laughs> oh, this must be it. Some sort of mind control machine, I guess. What's this thing? My invention has no effect on the dog named Odie. Of course not. You can't control someone's brain if they don't have one. Let's go back. Only last a few days before they wear off. And back a little more. Testing a mind control device, unqualified success. I press the blue button, capture someone's mind, then speak into the microphone to tell them what to do. Odie, that's the secret. Do you realize what this means? It means I can control the world. I can make everyone do exactly what I want. I can make every single person on the planet get into the pizza delivery business. I can make the governor proclaim every day, Garfield the Cat Day. And I further decree that everyone has to give Garfield the Cat a nice gift. He'll accept cash, checks, and all major credit cards. I could sleep all day, and I could sleep all night. Wait a minute, I already do that. I can make Nermal, Drusilla, Minerva, and Aunt Ivy all move to some other show. Eh, we're gonna go annoy the people on the six o'clock news instead. Oh. I could have the entire planet re-sculptured so it looks like a giant replica of my head. Okay, so we'll have it orbited by a moon that looks like you. All I have to do is push the blue button and talk into the microphone, and then... Odie. We have a problem. I can't talk. Huh? I'm a cat, remember? Humans can't hear me. Except for those people out there. Microphones can't either. Aww. And I was so looking forward to making the world look like me. What are you doing <laughs> in my lab? Every time I invent something, you come along and ruin my plans. I just want to rule the world and make everyone my slaves. Is that so awful? Uh, yeah, it is. Well, I won't let you! I'll use my disintegration ray! <laughs> There's nowhere to hide, Cat! Prepare to be disintegrated! Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Blue button. 
I could control that mind of his if I could give him an order into this microphone, but I can't. But I know who can. We just need to borrow something from across the street. Welcome to belly dancing for mice and other small rodents. That would include Nathan. Put your hands over your head, stand on point, then move in time to the music. That'll keep him busy for a few days until the ray wears off. <laughs> What's to stop him from using his mind control device when it does wear off? This. It took three seasons, but we finally got some culture into the show. Oh, yeah. I took the disintegration ray. I thought it might come in handy the next time we have a guest appearance by Aunt Ivy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.